Hello students from pair of linear equations in two variables. We started with elimination method and we completed question number one of exercise 3.4. Moving ahead, this is question number two from exercise 3.4. Question is, if we add one to the numerator and subtract one from the denominator, the fraction reduces to one. It becomes 1 by 2 if we only add 1 to the denominator. What is the fraction? Can you recollect that the same type of sum we have done in substitution method? So the way of putting up the equations is exactly similar. Only we will be using elimination method to find the value of x and y. So we will begin our sum by considering the numerator as x and the denominator as y and so the fraction will be x upon y. Now if you read the sum carefully, our first condition is if we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator. So accordingly we will write numerator plus 1 upon denominator minus 1 and the fraction reduces to 1 so is equal to 1. Let's write this because we have taken numerator as x and denominator as y. So it will be x plus 1 upon y minus 1 is equal to 1. So let's cross multiply so that we will get x plus 1 is equal to y minus 1. We will open up the bracket and frame an equation based on this. So we will have x minus y is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2. So we will have x minus y is equal to minus 2 and we will consider this as our equation 1. In the second part of the sum we are given that the fraction becomes 1 by 2 if we add 1 only to the denominator. We are not going to change the numerator. So let's, let's see this. So by not changing the numerator and adding 1 only to the denominator, the fraction becomes 1 by 2. Let's write this in terms of x and y. So we have x upon y plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2. Again, we will cross multiply 2 into x and y plus 1 into 1. So we'll have 2x is equal to y plus 1. Let's arrange this in the standard form of linear equations. So we'll have 2x minus y is equal to 1 and this is our second equation. So as I told you, once you get both the equation, now solving the sum becomes easy. So we'll have our two equations in this manner. We, we have written it one below the other. And if you observe both the equations, you will realize that the coefficient of y in both the equations are same. And what is the coefficient there? It's minus 1 in the first equation and again minus 1 in the second equation. And I told you that when we solve this by elimination method and if you have the same sign for the coefficients, then you will subtract one equation from the other. So keeping that in mind, we will subtract equation 1 from 2. So we have first written equation 2, below that equation 1. And when you subtract, you have to change the sign of the coefficients of the second equation. So here plus 2x will become minus 2x, minus y will become plus y and plus 1 will become minus 1. And this new signs now we have to consider for subtracting one equation from the other. So let us do that. By doing it, we are first going to cancel minus y plus y. Then the uh, x coefficients. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So we will have minus x is equal to minus 3. We will cancel this minus sign from both the sides. So we get x is equal to 3. And this is the value of our first variable. Now let's find out value of y. So we'll put x is equal to 3 in equation 1. And this is our equation 1. 
we will put the value of x as 3 there. So, we will get 3 minus y is equal to minus 2. So, minus y is equal to minus 2 minus 3 and therefore, we get the value of y as 5. So, we got both the values x and y and this is what is the solution of our given sum. But, we have to find out the fraction and therefore, the original fraction is equal to x upon y and that is 3 upon 4. Clear? Easy? And once you start solving, you just see that you will quickly go ahead and finish with the sum. And I am sure children, you all are solving along with me. Please do it. It will be a good practice to all of you. Okay? So, moving to the next sum. This is the second sum, question number 2. And from 2, this is second. 5 years ago, Nuri was thrice as old as Sonu. 10 years later, Nuri will be twice as old as Sonu. How old are Nuri and Sonu? So, in such cases, always consider the present age of what whoever is given to you in the sum as x and y. So, we will consider present age of Nuri as x and present age of Sonu as y years. Now, if you read it carefully, what it is given? 5 years ago, that means before 5 years. If the present age is x, before 5 years, what would be the age? It is x minus 5. Alright? So, 5 years ago, Nuri's age is x minus 5 years. And Sonu's age is equal to y minus 5 years. The condition is 5 years ago, Nuri was thrice as old as Sonu. So, Nuri's age x minus 5 is equal to thrice Sonu's age. Alright, you understood this? Then we will open up the bracket and solve this. We get x minus 5 is equal to 3y minus 15. Shift the terms and put it into the form of an equation and we get our first equation as x minus 3y is equal to minus 10. Okay, let's move ahead and see the second condition. 10 years later, children we have taken the present age of Nuri and Sonu as x and y. So after 10 years, Nuri's age will be x plus 10 and Sonu's age will be y plus 10. But what is the condition? After 10 years, Nuri will be twice as old as Sonu. So, let us write this in the form of equation. So, Nuri's age after 10 years will be x plus 10 is equal to twice the age of Sonu that is y plus 10. Let us solve this. So, when you solve it, you get x plus 10 is equal to 2y plus 20. Let's shift the terms and write it in the form of an equation. So, x minus 2y is equal to 20 minus 10. So, we get x minus 2y is equal to 10 and this is equation 2. Now, we have both the equations with us, equation 1 and equation 2. And if you check the coefficient of x in both the equations, the coefficient is the same, that is 1. And the sign of the coefficients is also same, that is plus 1. And when we have the same coefficients and same sign, we subtract one equation from the other. So, here we will subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So, we will write both the equations one below the other. When we subtract, we have to change the sign of the coefficients of the second equation. So, plus 1 of x coefficient will change to minus, minus 2 will change to plus and plus 10 will change to minus. And so, this plus x, minus x we will cancel and we are left with minus y is equal to minus 20. If we cancel minus from both the sides, we get y is equal to 20 and this is the value of our coefficient from the equation. Now, you can find out value of x by substituting y is equal to 20 in any of the equations 
and you can complete this sum and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. So I'm leaving this sum here. Please complete this. We will move to the next sum. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is nine. Also nine times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. Find the number. Children, before we go ahead with this sum, I would like all of you to have a look at this. When we consider any two digit number, say I consider 25. I can write 25 as 2 into 10 plus 5 because 5 is at the units place and so its place value is 5. 2 is at the tens place so its place value is 2 into 10. Similarly, if I take 56, I can write 5 into 10 plus 6. If I take say xy, how will I write? I write x into 10 plus y. Or if I take yx, I write y into 10 plus x. And the same thing we are going to use in this particular sum. We are given a two digit number. So we will consider the two digit number as x and y. So we'll consider y at the units place and x at the tens place. And the way I just told you, what will be our number then? Our number would be 10x plus y because y is at the units place and x is at the tens place. So we have considered that the digit at the units place be y and the digit at the tens place be x. And according to the sum, the sum of the two digits that is the tens place digit plus units place digit that is given to us as 9. So we will write x plus y is equal to 9 as our equation 1. Now if you go ahead and read the sum it is given that 9 times the number is twice the number obtained by reversing it. Now 9 times a number what is the number which we have taken? We have taken the number as 10x plus y. And 9 times of this number will be 9 into the number. Okay. And that is equal to 2 into the reverse of that number. So it is 9 into 10x plus y is equal to 2 into reverse the number. So it will become 10y plus x. Let's solve it. We get 90x plus 9y is equal to 20y plus 2x. Shift the terms and bring like terms together. So 90x minus 2x plus 9y minus 20y is equal to 0. This 90x minus 2x is 88x and 9y minus 20y is equal to minus 11y is equal to 0. Can you reduce this equation to lower terms and make it more simple? We can definitely do it by dividing throughout by 11. So we get 8x minus y is equal to 0 and we will consider this as our second equation. So children now we have got two equations. These are the two equations and if you see it carefully, the coefficients of y are same but their signs are opposite. And when the signs are opposite, you have to always add the equations. So we will add equation 1 and 2. This is equation 1, this is equation 2 and when you add there is no need to change the signs. So we will cancel this y. We are left with 9x is equal to 9. So x is equal to 1 and this is the value of x. Let's find out the value of y. So we will put the value of x in equation 1. Our equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 9. So we get 1 plus y is equal to 9. And therefore y is equal to 8. Alright. But what we have considered? The digit at the units place as y. And we got that digit as 8. 8. Then the digit at the tens place is x. And we got it as 1. So what will be our number? The number is 10x plus y. So 10 into 1 plus 8 that is 10 plus 8 which is 18 and therefore the required number is 18. 
and our sum is absolutely correct because if you read the condition there it's given that the sum of the digits is equal to 9 and if you add the digits of the number which we have got the addition is 9 therefore our sum is absolutely correct see this children this is question number 4 from exercise 3.4 Meena went to a bank to withdraw rupees 2000 she asked the cashier to give her rupees 50 and rupees 100 notes only Meena got 25 notes in all find how many notes of rupees 50 and rupees 100 she received now see only 50 and 100 rupee notes she has taken and the total number of notes are given as 25. So what will we consider? We will consider let the number of rupees 50 notes is equal to x and the number of rupees 100 notes is equal to y. Alright. Now number of rupees 50 notes plus number of rupees 100 notes together it is 25 we have considered each as x and y so we will write x plus y is equal to 25 as our equation 1. With this we are given that the total amount withdrawn from the bank is rupees 2000. Alright so she has only 50 rupees note and 100 rupees note so 50 into number of rupees 50 notes which we have considered as x plus 100 into number of rupees 100 notes which we have considered as y and total how much she has withdrawn 2000 so we will put this in the form of equation it is 50x plus 100y is equal to 2000 all right now what we will do we will take out 50 common from the equation so we get x plus 2y is equal to 2000 solve it now so x plus 2y is equal to 2000 upon 50 this 0 we will cancel and then 5 into 40 is 200 so we get x plus 2y is equal to 40 and this is our equation 2 so we have got now both the equations equation 1 and equation 2 and here if you see the coefficients of x are same with the similar sign therefore we will subtract equation 1 from equation 2 so we have written first equation 2 below that equation 1 and when we subtract we have to change the sign here all the signs for the second equation are plus so we are making it negative and when you subtract you can cancel this x then 2y minus y is equal to y is equal to 40 minus 25 is equal to 15. So we get the value of y as 15. Now putting this value of y is equal to 15 in equation 1. Our equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 25. So we get x plus 15 is equal to 25 and therefore x is equal to 10. So we got our answer number of rupees 50 notes is equal to 10 and number of rupees 100 notes is equal to 15 and if you add both the notes it is equal to 25 and which is what given in the sum so our answer is correct okay let's move to the next sum now a lending library has a fixed charge for the first three days and an additional charge for each day thereafter Sarita paid rupees 27 for a book kept for 7 days while Sushi paid rupees 21 for the book she kept for 5 days. Find the fixed charge and the charge for each extra day. If you read it carefully you will understand children that for the first 3 days there is a fixed charge. If you do not return the book after three days then you have to pay additional charges so here what we will do we will consider the fixed charge for the first three days as rupees x and the additional charge after three days as rupees y per day all right 
So, what is given in the sum? That Sarita paid rupees 27 for the book kept for 7 days. Now see, for the first 3 days, the charges are fixed. Then, for the remaining extra days, since she had the book for 7 days, her extra days would be 4. Okay? So, fixed charge for the first 3 days plus number of additional days uh, what she kept the book into the additional charges per that day and total how much she has paid? 27. So, we can write it like this. Fixed charges x plus number of additional days that is 4 and what is the charge for the additional day? It is y and the total is 27. So, we get x plus 4y is equal to 27 as equation 1. Now, if you read the sum after that, it is given. Sushi paid 21 for the book kept for 5 days. So, here again the same we have to consider the fixed charges for the first 3 days plus number of additional days the book kept into the additional charges per day and total how much she has paid? She has paid rupees 21. So, fixed charges x plus number of additional days. Now, here total 5 days. Out of that 3 days is the fixed charges. So, additional days will be 2 and additional charges are y and total she has paid 21. So, x plus 21, x plus 2y is equal to 21 is equation 2. Alright. So, we have both the equations now. Equation 1 and equation 2 and if you check out the coefficients of x are same and the signs of both the coefficients are also same. And when the signs are similar, you have to subtract one equation from the other. So, this sum I am leaving you half uh, here for you to complete and find out the answer. So, complete this sum, find the value of x and y and please tally your answers. You will get x as 15 and y as 3. That will be the solution of your equation. Alright, we have taken the fixed charges as, as x that will come as rupees 15 and the additional charges will be rupees 3. And this is how you will uh, get the answer and please complete this sum. So, we will stop uh, for today and see you all in the next video lesson and we will begin with exercise 3.5 in the next lesson. Till then, bye and take care.